you. She's loved you for your entire life, and you've taken care of her. You're in entire life. You the piece of shit. In the world, I don't get why it's... I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so what if she was here right now? What would she say? I don't want to talk about it right now. Look, he's going to be here any second. Who is it? Just remember what I said. Put some pants on. Holy hell, man, you scared the shit out of me. I thought you were the cops. Is that Billy? Yeah. Is that Gretchen? Yeah, she's just getting dressed. Give me that look. We we work things out. It, we've changed. Hey man, it's your life. A lot. Oh, you want a beer? <clears throat> sure. I appreciate you seeing me. Yeah. Because it's too cozy, man. Uh, they're a little warm. I haven't had a chance to gas up this week. But that'll be the trick. <sighs> I uh, came over to talk about mom. What are you two talking about out here? Gretchen? Billy? We're talking about my mom. So terrible what happened to her. If you need anything at all, please let me know. I appreciate it. Thank you. So what's up? <sighs> Can we... Talk in private? I know, I just mean you, me and you oh, in, pr in private. Whatever you have to say, you can say in front of my fiance. When did, uh... He proposed two weeks ago. Isn't it beautiful? It was your grandma's. I want you to take mom off life support. I... I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. Would you like to talk about why you don't think that's a good idea? With all due respect, we just don't think that that's what she would want. With all due respect, I was talking to my brother, not his girlfriend. Fiance. Fiance. Have you visited the hospital? Yes. The doctors say there's a 99.9% .9 chance that she's never coming out of that coma. Right. I understand that. She pisses in a bag, and I have to move her every couple of hours and clean her because she shits herself. I, I've been down there. I don't need a fucking play-by-play. -play. So what's the problem? I can't. Why not? Remember when Uncle Henry died? Yeah. Everybody bitched and moaned because he didn't leave any of his money to the family. What the hell does this have to do with what we're talking about? Well, it wasn't exactly true. He left some money for Mom in a trust. Some delayed gratification something or other. She doesn't get the money until she turns 55. Which... Next month. Exactly. You're telling me that you're keeping our mother alive for an inheritance. Listen to yourself. I just... Do you realize how fucked that sounds? Or maybe you're right. But Dr. Chang says that she isn't suffering, and I feel like she wouldn't... I don't really see how this is any of your business. You're obviously very upset. Maybe you should come back when you've had some time to process what we've been talking about. Excuse me? This isn't just about me. It's it's for both of us, okay? She would want us to have this money. I don't care about the money. Well, I do, okay? Take a look around, man. You want the tour here? Fridge. Empty. Cupboards? Empty. Water? Off? I haven't had food in, in this place in two days. So mom has to suffer. Nobody forced you to piss your life away 
on bad decision after bad decision. Bad decision? Like what? Like helping raise you when dad left? Like helping take care of mom when you left for college? I didn't give up on my dreams. I traded them in for yours. How much? Oh, what How are much? you doing? 500? 1,000? No? Of course not. What was I thinking? I don't want your money. Give me a number. Give me a number. If I have it, it is yours. I will give you everything I have. How much to let our mother die in peace? To let her take with her whatever she has left of her dignity. She gave me the medical power of attorney, not you. She would want us to have that money. You said it yourself. She's got a 99% chance of never waking up. She's already gone, man. Billy, expect to hear from a lawyer. I expect to hear. Yeah, I wouldn't expect anything less, man. You fucking coward, just like Dad. Oh. What? Mm. God. Hey. Mm. Maybe you should leave. Yeah. Mm. 